run to Jake's for refuge. Huh. You run to Benny Hill and all these other fellas, Benny Hinn, and, and you feel like you're in a godly atmosphere, like Tyler Perry, a cross dresser, lay hands on Jake, Jake, and he's supposed to be a man of God in the spirit. <laughs> My Lord. <laughs> Tyler Perry got his hands on him, and he laying there with the cameras on him. <laughs> Being successful in God is not based upon the kind of car or house or suit of clothing or bank account you have. No. That's not success in God. Success. True success in God, I can say like Paul, that I may know him. And the power his of his resurrection. Yeah. You have money, I have wisdom. Yeah. You have money, yeah. I have knowledge. That's right. You have money, I have understanding. That's right. You have money, I have seen the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Out of all your money, do you have what it takes to make the resurrection? That's it. Do you have what it takes That's right. to go back with God? That's right. Look at the love of money. You men out there in the entertainment industry, look at how much you love money. Love you sell your dignity and get dressed up like a woman, That's you right. pervert, That's your right. Hollywood pervert. Go ahead. Just to make 20 or 30 million dollars, use a money. Hollywood pervert. Go ahead. I don't care if you're black, white, Hispanic, or Asian, or Indian, you're a pervert. That's right. That's a real right. man won't put on a dress for nobody. That's right. That's right. Love him. Love him. Do you know how of an honor it is hmm. to be made in God's image? Hallelujah. Let us make men in our image after our likeness. And now I'm going to distort the image hmm. to put on a dress. Lord. That alone is blasphemy. That's blasphemy. Because if I was made in the image of God, God don't look like a woman. That's right. That's blasphemy. That's right. That's blasphemy. Charge them. Charge them that are rich, oh, you rich in this folk. world. You rich folk got a lot to learn. Yeah. You run to Jake's for refuge. Huh. You run to Benny Hill and all these other fellas, Benny Hinn, and, and you feel like you're in a godly atmosphere, like Tyler Perry, a cross dresser, lay hands on Jake, Jake, and he's supposed to be a man of God in the spirit. <laughs> My Lord. <laughs> Tyler Perry got his hands on him, and he laying there with the cameras on him. I pray right now that you will continue to do everything you're doing. I pray his anointing will stay upon you. I pray the power of God all over you. I pray his favor. I pray the blood of Jesus will come upon you right now. Keep you in the care. God, I thank you for your blessings.
That's right. An abomination laying his hands on a false prophet. That's right. Go ahead, man. Well, he's a Christian. He ain't no Christian. No. How he a Christian and his mouth is so foul, cussing as some bad mama dear. That's right. Cussing. At will. At cussing. Will. At will. Go ahead. A Christ-like man don't dress like a woman. That's right. A Christ-like man don't dress like a woman. A Christ-like man don't dress like a woman. Go ahead. Don't do it. Go ahead. Man. Are you listening? Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. Man. You Hollywood celebrities that watch the truth of God, Charging. you sell your dignity, fella. Mm -hmm. You love money more than you love your own flesh. That's right. Love of money. As manly as Wesley Snipes act. Yes, I call your name. You don't like it. What do I care? Amen. He got dressed up like a woman, as black as he is, with a blonde wig. And lipstick. My Lord. What a fool. What a money. What's the matter with these men? That's right. Love of money. The love of money is the root of the all source evil. Of how much? All evil. You can't offer me a dime that'll make me set out on God. I'd rather be killed first before I sell out on God. That's right. That's right. Either you save or you're not. Yeah. Either God is first or he's not. Yeah. Yeah. You preachers that are reaching out to us and claim you want to walk with the truth of God, if you ain't all out for God, stay where you're at. That's right. Don't come here. That's right. We're not begging. Don't come here. Don't come this way with the expectation to think anything going to change. That's right. God rules here. Go ahead. Do you hear what the word says? In 1 Timothy 6 and at verse 10. Says what? For the love of money. The love. Amen. Some of these preachers didn't preach this stuff. There was a television station that logged on to our program out of Africa and saw us on YouTube. And they could not believe that we were preaching this message. They said it because the prosperity preachers in America, now the preachers in Africa are imitating them. And you know our African brothers and sisters are not rich. No. Most of them are poor, right. dirt poor. Yeah. But these greedy dogs that pose yeah. as pastors. Yeah. God told them this. God, have you noticed God is always telling these fellas to get money from people? Right. Why you don't hear the voice says repent? Amen. Be baptized, yes, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's like I've said on many occasions, when we come and want to set up a church and come to the people, we don't come to them faking them and bamboozling right. them. Right. We come tell them, hey, look, we need a church in such and such and such an area. Like this building here in Baltimore. It was a library. You would never think it was a library. And I remember when you first came in here, the ceiling wasn't this high. They built a second story. There was no balcony. There was bookcases lined up. And I remember my wife said to me, Gino, this, this is too small. I said, ignore the bookcases. She started mocking me. She said, I can't. <laughs> Vernon came to me. He said, bro, Gino, don't you think this is too small, man? He, we can't work in here. I said, Vernon, as long as you've been around me, I got a vision. Yeah. He said, well, good Lord, man, better to you than me. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody could see it. See it. I got together with Raj. I said, Raj, I want the whole second floor gone. <laughs> he said, consider it gone. <laughs> I said, we're going to build a balcony. 
the old plaster. I want to strip the plaster off and see what's back there. He stripped the piece off. I said, oh, stone back there. Every place that's plaster up to these columns and those columns, strip them. Mm -hmm. And then repoint them. And then sandblast them. And then glaze them. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> if God having given us a vision, you think we'll go from state no to way. state by faith? No way. My faith drives me to go from state to state, from country to hallelujah. Glory to God. My faith in God. Hallelujah. Wonderful, brother. It drives me. Wonderful, brother. Go ahead. It drives me from state to state. Go ahead. That's I was wonderful. telling the brothers the other day of a place we, go, we have to go to. We've never been there. He said, what you think going to happen? I said, man, we got victory before we got tickets. <laughs> before we got plane tickets. The city belongs to the truth of God. Hallelujah. What did he tell Joshua? Every place where the soul of your feet shall tread. Hallelujah. He said, I... We'll give it to you. That's right. Oh. Hallelujah. You angry viewers that's hoping for the demise of First Church, you mm. might as well start digging a Grand Canyon in your backyard. That's right. Truth will never end unless you kill God. That's right. And God can't die. That's right. The book says, For the love of the money. Love, give chapter and verse. First Timothy chapter 6 and at verse 10. This is the danger of love and money. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Listen at what happens. Which while some coveted after. Wait a minute. What happens? While some coveted after. They didn't say they even have it yet. Hmm. While some coveted. While some desire it. What do they do, Williams? They have erred they from have the faith. They have erred from God's belief. And, and pierced, pierced themselves, themselves through, through. With many sorrows. Sometimes people bring great stress and great pain upon themselves because they want riches so bad. That's true. Look how the worthless liars preach this prosperity junk. If you want God to give you an X amount of money, you got to give an X amount of money. Benny Hinn told that for years. Yeah. For God to give you the wealth, you got to give him a certain amount of money. In other words, you got to buy your wealth from Jesus. Buy you. Well, look, if I need some money, I need it from him. That's right. So why do I got to give, pay him off, <laughs> pay God off, That's right. and then he look at my offering and then dump money on me? That's right. Blessings come under one heading, obedience That's right. and humility. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. 